updates that Adobe needs to add. The first update that I'm pretty sure every single player agrees on is allowing us to go and have two pets equipped at the exact same time time. Because going and aging up pets takes a long time. And there are people out there already who just go and use an alt account to go and age them up, but some players aren't lucky enough to go and have two devices to play Roblox on. So introducing a game pass that would allow players to go and have two pets equipped at once would definitely be interesting and useful. And it would then allow you to go and age up two of the exact same pet at the same time without having an alt account. The reason why Adobe might not do this is because they might think it will ruin the value of Megas. Which it kind of might do so, it's obviously up to them. Other games such as Pet Simulator allow players to go and have a bunch of pets equipped at the same time. And that game pass allows you to equip 8 pets at once. And probably cost a lot of Robux. The next update that Adopt.me needs to add is a trading hub. This right here is a different player's pet concept of what a trading hub might actually look like. The idea is that you can go up to it, open up a book, and search for the pet that you're looking for. Because we all know trying to find your favorite pets takes a long time. For example, this person is going to search for a winged tiger. Now you tap on the one that you want to go and offer for. So they're going to click on the no potion one and then they can go and offer it. Now logically this would make complete sense and definitely be pretty interesting for the Adopt Me traders. It does however involve people being on the trade at the exact same time. Apparently once you send your offer, the offer will be sent in their trading hub so I guess you wouldn't have to be on at the same time. You could just kind of temporarily put your pets in storage and then if they accept the trade, then the trade would go through. I think this could actually work if they implemented this system. Dare I say it, but Pet Simulator has already gone and done this. Basically, you go into the game and you search for what pet that you want to go and find. In Adopt Me terms, you'd go and search for a Shadow Dragon, you'd then go and click to find if someone has one, and then it would go and teleport you into that server to someone who has that Shadow Dragon for trade. Now this is actually a brilliant concept, and would result in a bunch of saved time. Do you want to know what computer I used to make my videos? This is Cyberpower PC, the company that made my computer. They sell pre-built gaming PCs, and they use the most up-to-date hardware. You can even go and get custom gaming PCs like myself. And these things look absolutely amazing. They have 20 years plus of experience and a 5 year warranty. My computer from them is over 4 years old and still works perfectly. So check out Cyberpower PC today, the link's in the description and the pinned comment. The next update that Adopt Me needs to add is Ruby and Emerald Star Egg Rewards. I have gone through this journal multiple times claiming my golden egg, my diamond egg multiple times, and you just go and get the exact same pets out of it. However, many players think that they should go and update these eggs or go and give us a brand new egg altogether. Because once you've gone and got all of these pets, it's kind of just boring going and getting the exact same stuff again. So maybe after the diamond egg, they should go and add a ruby egg or an emerald egg. That would definitely be interesting and add a whole new level of rarity for those hardcore players who have thousand day login streaks. And definitely something that I would be interested in seeing, like a Imagine an emerald unicorn. Yeah, imagine if it went diamond, ruby, and then the emerald. I wonder if ruby or emerald's better. Apparently, all Adopt Me has to do is get a diamond dragon and color it red. Um, so I guess that is kind of true. I mean, the dragon is just in so many colors. We have the regular red version. We have it in gold. We have it in lavender. We have it in diamond. We we have the same pet just recolored multiple times. So, you know, just, just give us like a nice little emerald one and players will be happy. Okay, this is what an emerald one would look like. And I actually love the colors of this. Green is a pretty nice color and my eyes are green. You want to know what's really annoying wallpapers in your house. Say for example, I want to go and change the wallpaper of my house, but I only want to change one section, such as this wall right here. If I select the wallpaper, it changes every single wall. Now I don't want that, I just want this one wall to be changed. Now if Adobe was to go and add precise wallpapers, then it would be pretty handy actually. Imagine only being able to select one wall at a time and changing the wallpaper for it. 
Honestly, I don't know why this isn't an option already. You'd think that would be kind of pretty easy to add into the game. Because you can have different wallpapers for different floors. For some reason, it changes to a different wallpaper up here compared to the wallpaper down there. Honestly, I don't know how it's decided that that one will be different. But allowing players to do this would work well. At the moment, this person uses these little wool plates to allow them to do it, but it would make sense for it to add it. Up next is trading bugs in a trade. Honestly, I don't know why this is not a thing. Trading bugs is one of the biggest scams in Adopt Me, and we all know that Adopt Me is trying to eliminate scammers, as it would therefore result in more players playing their game again. If they get rid of scammers, then more people are going to play the game, and there was a bunch of scams going around where people would say, trade me your pet and I'll give you bucks. They give you the bucks, and then they get no pet in return. So let's find out, add money please, maybe they want more money than pets, so if you click on the bucks symbol, you could go and add a certain amount of bucks to the trade, and maybe people want to sell pets for money, because they think they might be worth, I'm pretty sure Pet Sim has this, so why can't adopt me? Everything, compare everything to Pet Simulator, okay? Pet Simulator is a popular game though, I guess, so you can't blame them. The next idea is more color options, I wonder what this could be. Okay, Adobe doesn't have that many color options. Well, they do, but most of them are like bright pinks and oranges. Now, this is extremely true. Who decided this color palette? But someone wants gray and light shades of blue, and there just isn't many. You're able to get colors from different house items. I don't know how. This has a really nice color. Get the different colors from it. I, I don't know. Wait, can you actually just buy an item and then select the color from it to then change the color of the item? Is that a thing? Wait, 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 wait. It, does that exist? Honestly, I might just be a noob, but let's grab this and click chosen color. Can you can you change the color based off of it? No, you can't. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's there used to be a paint dropper tool where you could like pick a color off of a different item and then change it, but I don't think that works anymore. So this person's idea is that you'd get a color wheel and you could then select the color of the furniture, which would logically make sense. Rich trading servers. I think this does exist. Um, it's really annoying to try find a rich server, so Adopt Me should add these servers just for trading and when you go through them they will bring you to like another game but still adopt me okay this is gonna be interesting and is this just gonna be like a rich server it will look completely the same as adopt me but people would just be rich <laughs> is that their idea everyone's just rich in this server um this is actually fishy blocks server i bet they're all camping underneath in the neon cave that's where all the rich people go literally just in the neon cave yeah this is a pretty rich server there's an evil unicorn some neon arctics a neon chameleon yeah so there's a bunch of rare neon pets now adobe does actually feature this already but it's only for select people and select countries which is extremely strange here's a video that i made you can click if you want to join a trading server and now this is like an actual thing by the way guys it's just only for select accounts and unfortunately i don't have it yet and i don't know why the next thing apparently is they should add houses more often because they think that brookhaven is stealing all of the adopt me players which to be fair um this is kind of true brookhaven has like half a million players <laughs> at all times. Honestly, I don't know why. There's not too much fun stuff to do in it. Do you play Brookhaven? Let me know in the comments. I'm very much fascinated at what people actually go and do in Brookhaven. I, I don't know. It's just strange. The next thing people want updated is the clothes catalog. And this one, I 100 million percent agree with. If you go into the dress up section inside of Adopt Me, you might notice that all of these things, they're all really old, peculiar, and strange items. Like, not many people want to use these items. And that's it. These, There's just not many items to go and select from. So I'm pretty sure they should go and add some of the new items. It would definitely make the roleplay aspect kind of interesting. Maybe if you added a section where you could go and just search for a certain theme. Say you want to be police. If you search the word police, it would just come up with like a whole outfit designed for a roleplay of a police officer potentially, that would be kind of interesting. 
but instead I guess you gotta manually go through one by one and create your own avatar. At least you can go and save your avatar creations, which is cool. Also, Adobe needs to add layered clothing. Layered clothing is kind of very important and Roblox Adobe just hasn't added it yet. Let us know what you think Adobe should add in the comments. Click this video here to find out how to level up pets faster in Adopt Me. It gives you the best tips and tricks on how to age neons.